This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy TV, the leader online cybersecurity education. Cybersec Community Chat. viewers welcome to another episode of cybersec community chat i am your host damien today we are pleased to have monica talika on board to this episode of chit chat sessions let's get our conversation started hello monica it's a pleasure to have you on hello it's a pleasure to have you on board to this episode of cybersec community chat uh, um you know to kick off these sessions my first question for all my guests is Please share with us your journey into cybersecurity industry. Okay, thank you for having me here. I feel very privileged to share my thoughts uh, with Pentest Academy. So yeah, uh, I got introduced to cybersecurity while I was pursuing my graduation. I had the subject named as information security, where I studied concepts like cryptographic algorithm, password hashes, web application architecture, etc. I got so interested into this subject and started doing my self study. And that moment, I decided, yeah, this is what I want to do in my career. Uh, and after completing my graduation with months of hard work and patience, I landed in a defensive side of cybersecurity job. So many people think like uh, I started my journey with, with pen testing, but no, that was that is not true. I started my journey with defensive side of cybersecurity, where I was working on SIEM incident management log monitoring. I learned how a attack works and how to defend a particular attack. Also during those time while I was working, I saw my colleague solving web application challenges, which was very interesting. Like you have to hack the system and all this thing. I got so interested and started solving this web application challenge in my free time. According to my job role, I used to work for two days and two days off. So I used to get a lot of time doing my self study and researching and everything. With all this thing, I landed in the pen testing role. Uh, and during all these things, uh, on weekend I used to attend a cybersecurity community, which is a null chapter, a local sub cybersecurity community in India, where I used to attend talk, workshop, used to interact with uh, like-minded buddies, and used to get. I learned many things over there. And that moment I realized that what is the importance of knowledge sharing and how it will be helpful for someone who want to really start their career. It, it is a type of direction or guidance which we get during those times. And also to enhance my skills, pen testing skill, I uh, enrolled for cybersecurity certifications like offensive security. I learned from Pentester Academy about buffer overflow, reverse shell coding, how to create your custom shell coding and all these things, which was really very helpful. And once I got comfortable, I started conducting workshop talks at various cybersecurity communities. And I got a very good feedback doing that. So I was confident that, yeah, this is what I can do. And I love doing that. And it was my also one of my dream that I have to attend Black Hat. Uh, and in 2019, I got the opportunity to attend Black Hat Asia in Singapore. That moment when I came here in Singapore in 2019, I met many people uh, and whom I really looked up to and this encouraged me and motivated so much that I landed in Singapore and I continued conducting the workshop talks over here with Division Zero and Women on Cyber uh, and yeah this is a quick introduction how I started my career and currently I'm learning about Docker security and how to print this Docker. Yeah, it is quite an exciting, you know, journey that you have, you know, laid out and, you know, mentioned about it, you know. Uh, you know, one question is, you know, you have such an exciting journey. Um, if you have the chance to go back in time to advise your younger self, will you tell your younger self any advice uh, that you want to change in terms of your path that you are currently on? According to my past, uh, if I have got to know about defensive side, right? So many people think uh, uh, cybersecurity is all about hacking and everything. But one has to understand that understanding how the attacks and how to mitigate a particular finding is also equally important. Uh, 
so you have to understand that uh, cyber security is not only about hacking there are it's a vast domain and every aspect of cyber security is really very important <laughs> yeah probably your young younger self in the past that if you go if you can go back to the past you may be able to advise that you know moving on you know uh, as you are advising your own self you know um, we have a lot of people in flux of people coming into the cyber security industry you know what are, what are your tips and advice that how one should start planning their cyber security career now hmm, first advice i would like to add here is what makes you interested in cyber security because cyber security is such a vast domain and it requires continuous reading uh, investment of time and one has to keep updated with the latest technology and the latest vulnerability which is going around so small habits like reading blogs uh, attending a workshop or talk in a conference or something which they will be really very helpful and also if you are studying something study in depth just don't uh, just uh, to understand what is happening in the background for example if you want to learn about nmap understand why it is showing open or closed or filtered port understand what is happening at the network level and if you are studying something also make sure that you are implementing it practically suppose for example if you want to learn about how burp suite works just download the community edition of burp suite and test it on any vulnerable application try to engage yourself in doing bug bounties uh sub playing ctf enroll for any courses there are multiple courses available online which is really helpful if you want to learn any some new vulnerabilities like ssrf or something just uh, practice hands on on these labs which are available also uh be humble uh, this is very important as uh, if you are highly certified or highly skilled it's it's very important you should be humble there is always a chance that you have to learn something new uh you can have active participation in cyber security community where well, you learn what is the importance of knowledge sharing uh share knowledge uh, so that uh, you can learn because in if you uh, share knowledge you have a better understanding about the concepts and also uh, you motivate and encourage people around you and try to so- set goals actually so if you set monthly or yearly achievable goals yeah you can do everything Yeah, you know, uh, in your all your previous response, you about you you share a lot about knowledge sharing, you know, and stuff. I I do know that you are you have been such a great contributor to the cybersecurity com community in terms of talks, workshop, organizing uh, CTF. I do believe that you also mentor mentor people along the way. Do you think that mentoring is a step that you know the freshy coming on board should adopt in planning their career? like for mentorship having a mentor gives you a sense of direction or uh, and uh, having a mentor you have someone to look up to so if you uh, being a mentor you have to be humble and be approachable now many communities have started this uh, mentorship program it is really very helpful for a person who want to join cyber security or for freshers it is important do join that mentorship program but one has to understand that you can wholly depend on your mentors they are just there to guide you and give you directions so it's your responsibility uh, to understand and work hard and put on efforts actually for uh, if you want to achieve something so yeah join mentorship program but understand that you have to really put on your efforts to achieve something also i feel blessed that i got very good mentors managers to work with Uh, which really helped me and motivated in me in my career. Yeah, because uh, I think I think you know mentorship is very important. I think you also mentioned about um, you know learning things in depth and cybersecurity is such a vast space. Do you think mentorship helps to you know debunk some of the the vastity of cybersecurity and helps in terms of depth learning? Yeah. So uh, if it is not like one to one communication with uh, one another, people are sharing so many blogs and write ups and all these things. There, that is also a way of mentorship program where you can have a step by step guidance uh, of everything available. This is how you can go through everything and can learn something new. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the response on that. 
um, I, I also know that you are a great believer of learning, you know, continuous learning and you are such a great example to the cybersecurity space. And I, I do know that you are kind of like researching in the DevSecOps field, you know. Um, my questions for you, you know, uh, will you be able to share what's the unique activities that distinguish, dis, distinguish DevOps and DevSecOps, you know, what, what's the myth behind it, you know? Mm. So for, first we have to understand like why DevOps is used. So previously uh, there were many, multiple teams like software development team, a uh, software testing team and operation team were engaged in process of uh, building the application and deploying the application to production or test environment. Uh, but there was no proper synchronization between these teams which caused a lot of time consumption and lack of productivity. So DevOps helps in this process of entire workflow to be streamlined and fast through automation. A typical uh, DevOps cycle looks like it has collaboration, uh, build stage, test stage and uh, deployment and run stage. So every in collaboration uh, collaboration stage you can use Jira and uh, Jira tool for synchronization between multiple teams. In build stage you can have GitHub, you can write your code on GitHub, GitLab or Bigbucket. For, uh, for uh, test stage, you can use tools like Selenium or also for uh, deployment stage, you can have Vagrant or Docker running. This is how a typical DevOps workflow looks like. But when it comes to uh, DevSecOps, uh, there are security, security integrated within all these uh, steps. So starting from before building the code, you can integrate, uh, you can do uh, threat modeling in order to understand what security measures can arise during these points. For build stage, uh, you can use uh, uh, secret scanning to understand what are the secret, co uh, fast, if there is any sensitive information upcoming. And uh, for deploy, for, uh, for uh, uh, test stage, you can use container security. Uh, and also for deployment, uh, deployment stage and run stage. These are few of the activities which can you use. But for open sources tool, uh, there are multiple open sources tool which can you use in this activity. So in short, DevOps helps in collaboration and deploying the software development post process, delivering the software development process. And also uh, DevSecOps integrates security in every stage of this particular DevOps workflow. Um, as you mentioned that, you know, there is still a lot of multiple activities that is going to be add-on in the DevSecOps. You know, what are the main challenges in impl implementing this framework, DevSecOps framework to the DevOps? You know, does it make it very complicated? You know, does it make it even slower? You know? mm, uh, so first challenge which I would like to add here is the main uh, challenge is about many organizations have this misconception that once they have implemented DevSecOps, uh, they don't have to hire a security professional or a pen tester. But uh, this is not the right approach actually uh, because uh, uh, security testing like uh, pen testing cannot be replaced by automated testing tools. For example, if you want to find out business logical bugs or you have to understand the entire workflow of the application or you have to do it manually, so which pen testers can do it. So it's possible, it's uh, like automated testers cannot detect this type of vulnerabilities. This is the first point. The second point is like most of the security tools do not integrate with CI CD pipeline. And third point is uh, most of the security point, uh, tools uh, do not have, cannot handle the false positive. So most of the time is consumed with just removing the false positive and a lot of time is consumed during this time. Also, it is, it is a belief that right? increased security slows down the entire workflow of DevOps cycle and developers are the main objective for developers is to just uh, put on, uh, they have to deliver the code as soon as possible due to the business requirement. So, and the uh, security professional has to uh, put, uh, they have to ensure that the entire code is safe. So due to this contrasting objectives, it happens like these two teams are not able to work together. This is also one of the most important challenge which DevSecOps is facing. <laughs> so so in your personal view, do you think that DevSecOps is essential and what is the outlook of DevSecOps in the future? Uh, yes, DevSecOps is important. Uh, 
because if you see right most of the organization have this approach that they are performing security testing once the application is available on production either on uot or test environment which is not right actually because if you think right uh, if your application is very complex there are chances that there will be multiple vulnerabilities uh, which will arise and it will take lot of time for uh, developers to patch that finding and by the time they fix this particular finding there is new release coming up for the same application and they are waiting in the queue to get the security testing done so instead of that if you uh, implement or integrate security in every stage of devops cycle it will be uh, better so that every step can would have security uh, done yeah so this is how security is important right uh, so that in, uh, devsecops makes this happens so that uh, risk will be comparatively low so so you you think that uh, people should adopt it <laughs> in the near future in- uh, with the risk will be comparatively low for things like uh, uh, small uh, things which don't require much technical knowledge like mm-hmm. so, uh, a security professional can help the developer to create policies or they can help them to understand what are the how they can secure their code helping them to secure coding practices uh, making them understand uh, helping them to select the tools which can do security testing so this is will be really helpful if they do teams work together and can help to understand the enti- entire workflow for devops okay uh, you know as as we're going to end the session you know uh, i have one last question for you and you are um, you know as i mentioned you are such a great contributor in knowledge sharing um how should want you know share their knowledge in their com- to the community you know uh, you are you're not only do talks you also do workshop how should one start in knowledge sharing uh, for existing professionals in this field the first step will be always uh, difficult but as you go on the the miles will be easier for you just take the first step and try no one uh, just don't think that you will be judged or uh people will say, say something to you understand that uh, no one is perfect uh, and you, there is something to learn so while i am taking a uh, workshops i do get many questions so i agree if i uh, don't know anything uh, or i am like uh, i have not read that particular topic so that helps me to understand yeah this is what uh, i have to also learn and this because everyone has different uh, thinking and all these things so it's better what people will think you don't get don't have to be judged like just keep on doing your stuff and yeah uh, engage with any cyber security community and start conducting talks or workshop which you are comfortable with you see uh, i do hope that you know the listeners you know the viewers step out in faith you know like you <laughs> they really share about the knowledge that uh, you know that every day you have been learning and research you know uh, you know yeah and you know uh, i want to I want to thank you so much for for your time you know for coming on board to to these sessions uh to have this chit chat session with me and I do hope that the viewers and the audience enjoy what you have shared you know some of your lit- the wisdom and your knowledge that you you can they they can do in the the community and uh how how's your viewpoint and that set ops as well uh, i think these are cool knowledge that people should uh take back with them from this video as well um yeah uh i want to thank you monica once again for coming on board to cybersec uh, community chats and i do hope that the viewers enjoy the sessions that i have with you uh this in these sessions uh uh and all viewers uh we do Hope that you enjoy the sessions and we look forward to see the next video of Cybersec Community Chat. Bye bye.